with the nights getting chillier and the air getting crisper, we had wanted to go and check out the fall colors. So we packed up the van and headed out to Look Rock Campground in the Great Smoky Mountains. Yeah, we had always wanted to see the Smoky Mountain National Park, so this was exciting. Le Croc Campground had been closed for nine years and just reopened in 2022, so it's not a very well-known campground. It's in what they call the quiet side of the Smoky Mountains. Uh, It's away from some of the busier areas. We had a great drive in to Tennessee. As we approached the park, we went through what's called the Top of the the World Road or Top of the World Route. (laughs) Uh, We learned later we didn't have to go that way. It was a bit sketch going up in our van. Uh, stop signs on an incline, stuff like that. But uh, even while we were gripping the wheel, we were enjoying the views while we were doing that. And then when we arrived at the campsite, it was all worth it because it is gorgeous. We quickly set up the tent and uh, got camp ready. Yeah, the tent fit on the tent pad with no inches to spare. And we had a little tree in our doorway that we were able to navigate around. It wound up being a great spot and we're really happy with the setup. We'd heard about Look Rock Tower and there was a trail right off the campground, about a three mile round trip hike to go and see us. So on the first full day, that's what we did. Make us go down to go back up, (laughs) I'm feeling. The views from Look Rock Tower were amazing, and there were very few people up there with us. Um, We did bring our camera gear, and we were practicing a lot of different shots. We were there for probably an hour with our gear, taking shots and just enjoying the fall splendor. admission fee for the Great Smoky Mountains and they don't even check your America the Beautiful card but what you do need to have is a parking pass and that was one thing that we were advised by the um, uh, the ranger when we checked into camp is to make sure we go into Townsend and get a parking pass so we did that at the visitor center in Townsend uh, and then we headed over to IGA to get some firewood. traveled to Laurel Falls to hike the Laurel Falls Trail. The parking situation was pretty crazy. We parked about a mile away. So we had about a mile hike to the trailhead and then the trail was about 1.3 miles each way. So 
between five and six miles for the day and it was a gorgeous hike. We had a great time. Pretty crowded though. Yeah, this is the not so quiet part of the Smoky Mountains. It's a very popular trail, but we'd wanted to see the falls. And we brought out some of our hiking gear to try it out just to see what it was like to have. It wasn't fully loaded, but pretty decently loaded with all of our gear and some water and uh, walking poles and stuff just because we hadn't tested it all out recently. So We did lock the car, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Closely control children, babe. You need a closely control children. The falls were beautiful, but it was a very peoply kind of a place. So as much as we wanted to stay there, we did cut our visit a little bit short and headed back down the trail. Yeah, it's interesting. The trail leads up to the falls, and I thought maybe we'd have some other places we could go above the falls, but it was pretty treacherous after you got to the falls. The trail was not in the same smooth fashion. It was, in fact, rock piles to, to yeah, get up to the next level. Yeah, a lot of scrambling level. would be needed. Yes, yeah, so we decided not to do that. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. That would be the see it now. Smoky Mountains is a driving park and one of the reasons you need the pass is because there's lots of pull-offs to see just beautiful scenery and you need to have a pass to park for more than 30 minutes or something like that 15 minutes or 15 minutes yeah so uh, right next to the campground the foothills parkway cuts through this section of the park and we were excited to explore that and check out all the views hey darling i love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. From Look Rock Point, we could see a lake off in the distance, and uh, some locals happened to stop up, and they gave us the pronunciation 
but this is that lake, Chiloe, and uh, I was kind of blown away by how far away it was. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I want to make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I want to make it count, honey Come on now and take We wanted to go and see the Fontana Dam just because it's such a milestone on the Appalachian Trail. So we started to drive there. What we didn't realize is that drive was going to take us through the Dragon's Tail, which is quite a challenging road to drive. It's 312 curves and about 11 miles. We didn't even realize we were about to tackle this until we were done with it. We're going up this curvy, rather steep, section of roadway nothing too unusual at first and then we started noticing groups of photographers first just one and we thought oh there must be a promo and then a couple curves later there was another one and then a third one and all of a sudden it occurred to us we were in the middle of something and didn't know what <laughs> and so we eventually got to the end and at the visitor center at fontana dam discovered we were at the tail of the dragon and had just ridden it in our camper minivan <laughs> <laughs> but it did a great job and john did an amazing job driving this very challenging road yeah it wasn't so scary it's not the scariest road we've ever been on but the oncoming traffic i think a lot of folks are looking to get a, a good shot at not super high speed but at better than average speed or better than the speed limit and uh, that caused them to go wide on a couple of curves where there's no room for error yeah we saw a lot of motorcycles and a lot of fancy fancy cars a lot of Porsches and Miatas and other cars like that. Who we know where these rivers flow? Why the wind chooses where the wind blows? The sun is gonna rise each and every time, and I've still got ten. The Dragon's Tail did end up delivering us to the bottom of Fontana Dam. That was our first stop after uh, we'd driven that crazy road. Yep. We explored the bottom of the dam, but we knew there was a visitor center and assumed it was up top. So we followed some more curvy roads in search of that visitor center. No jumping or diving from the dam, John Griffin. Yeah.
the Visitor Center, we learned that the Fontana Dam is part of the TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority, uh, which is set up to help control floods as well as to generate power. This is also where we learned about the Dragon's Tail and uh, found out all the details of this crazy road that we just finished driving. And we came to the realization there was no easy way back to camp. We were going to have to do it again. Before heading back up the Dragon's Tail, uh, we stopped in Robbinsville, North Carolina to grab some fuel and grab some food. For me, the second time on the Tale of the Dragon was not nearly as scary, and before we knew it, we were back in camp. Smoky Mountain National Park does not have showers, so we brought the Julka and set it up, and it worked great. Yeah, it was nice to have hot showers every single night. And of course, we had our vestibule, which we've really grown to love. I can't imagine not having this set up, and we did have to struggle a little bit to get this up because of that little teeny tiny tree that was in our way, but John made it work. Yeah, it's good for both the cool weather and the warm weather to give us some place just to relax and spread out if we need to. We set up our super comfy bedroom with uh, the cots and our expat air mattresses and had really great nights of sleep the whole time we were here. Our visit to Look Rock ended way too quickly and before we knew it, we were back on the road uh, headed home. But first we had to get some breakfast. Yeah, we went down to Townsend to go to the cafe and grab some breakfast and some coffee for the road. for fall colors and we definitely got those. We got some hikes in and some pretty exciting driving and really, really great weather and nice nights for camping. It's great to get away for uh, adventures that are closer to home. Whether our adventures are large and far away or small and closer to home, we'll be sharing those on this channel. So please stay tuned.